but <laughs> well, Carol and I, Caroline and I just thought we'd uh, do a quick kind of lesson on uh, prayer mate. We I encourage you to to sign up to prayer mate, and to in a way get the church feed, but also to form prayer groups. So we thought we'd give you a quick lesson. I'd say quick. Um, it might be a little bit longer than we anticipated, but as you can see, depending on your student. Yeah, Caroline's the prayer mate newbie. I'm the inter at intermediate level. I'm no way a pro. Okay, so Caroline's going to be the newbie who's just downloaded the app. So first of all, you have to download the app from whatever app store you use. Um, once you're there, click it's on- free, isn't it? It is absolutely free. Um, as a church, we've paid, as a church, we've paid, um, got an offer on for the, for the whole year, whereby we're allowed to set up so many groups for the price plan that we've booked. Um, if you wanted to set up groups on your own and not allocated yourself to the church, you'd have to decide to become a prayer mate patron, which I think is about £10 a year. Um, but at, for the moment, we're enabling it just to happen free of charge so you can access everything because we're doing it for you. OK, so once you've downloaded the app, if you click on the app logo and you should come to the prayer mate kind of home page thing. OK. So you'll see there you've got three buttons, add lists and groups. And underneath those are the words swipe left to pray. Ignore swipe left to pray to start with. I'll come to that at the end. First of all, we wanna talk about lists. Prayer Mate has a great way where you can uh, create a whole list of topics that you want to pray for. So everything that you put onto your app is for your own personal use. So nobody else from the church will see what you're putting on your app. So if you put something really personal in there to remind yourself to pray for, only you can see it, okay? Um, unless you specifically put it into a group, which will share it with those particular members in the group. So do remember everything that's on here is to help you pray. It's not to enable everybody else to know what they need to pray for about you, okay? So. So if we start with the lists, so if you press the middle button where it says lists. Yeah, now, Caroline, it should now show the words, uh, a little kind of like section says, at the top of it says my lists. Is that correct? Now, in that is your main page is telling you all the lists that you have at your disposable and you can add as many lists as you want to for it, okay? okay. Example, I've got a whole load of lists there. Um, so I've got special events, church life, staff team, my family, world mission, personal, et cetera, et cetera. OK, um, this is where you can create a list. So let's just start with uh, press the add um, button, Caroline, okay. at the bottom yeah. of the page. And it will ask you, it will say create a list. What would you like to call your list? OK, um, so think of a, a list that you want to create. My family okay so why don't you type in the words my family and i'll just type in caroline's family okay i'll delete it at the end don't worry caroline um okay so now that should appear that should appear in your list where it says my list it will now have like a little yeah. yellow a white block that says your family or my family mine says caroline's family is at the bottom there okay so best thing to do is just click on that list so you tap that button and it should now go to another blank screen like that in this you can now add to that list so prayer points for your family okay so if you press the add button now what will you see there is at the top you have the words what would you like to pray for uh, and then there's a section called quick add and then there's a whole load of suggested resources to which prayer may say, oh, you could add that to your list. But let's let's just say you want to add the names of your family. OK, so it says enter a list of names. Do you see that on the right? So a big circle. If you just tap that button, you should then have that kind of screen appear on you, where it's like enter a list of names and you've got one, two, three, four, five. So you can add five things. So you can put you can type in the name. So let's type in, you know, Thomas, uh, I'll just type in yours and you and Thomas's name. So we don't have names of children going out live on air. Um, okay, um, you've done that. If you press done, <laughs> press done. 
it will now tell you how many subjects you've created. So now technically you should have all the names of your family on that list. Is that right? Now, so it's a bit like, it's a bit like that and you'll have the rest of your names. If I click on your name, okay, so you might want to click on another name. I click on Thomas. Okay, fine. And then you should have that. So these are the prayer points you now particularly want to add for that person. So you can now, where it says, add something else to pray for, dot, 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 click on that. And a little bottom screen will appear that says blank card, event, downloadable packs, scripture prayers, and stuff like that. So if you did a blank card, that will literally be you compose your own prayer request. So you can type in blank card, pray for work. It's going to be difficult this week. OK, and you could type that in uh, if I just type that. Um, work Difficult. OK, done. OK, so that should now appear on your prayer list. So I've got Caroline work difficult. OK, not she's difficult at work, but work difficult. OK, um, you can then let's. So that's that's one that you put in. But you could then also, as you say, Caroline, do an event. Um, so let's say something's coming up that you want to uh, remind yourself off. Um, so you can put the name of the event, let's say, Hooray for Love, okay? Which is an event coming up on February the 14th, just a subtle hint for everybody. You then put the date of the event. So I've put the 14th of February, press done. And then it comes up with Hooray for Love, 14th of February so you can put events in for specific people okay does that make sense um yep. if I wanted to add something else I could, let's do downloadable pack um this is where it, it's like a rabbit hole you can go into it and spend hours trying to work stuff through so there are loads of prayer packs that prayer mates suggest that you can use to help you in your prayer life so you could type in if you go to select downloadable packs and then I've, there's one there biblical prayers which is the first one that appears it then gives you a whole list of topics within that so i've just got seven do the first one 70 prompts for praising god okay so i've got to that stage there okay you can now press the top right hand column where it says download and there and it says are you okay to download it say okay and that has now appeared on your prayer section okay so you've got 70 prompts for praising god caroline all right so that that's, that's, it. that's fine so in a way that's the first list okay if you press back it will take you to the lists and you should then go to my lists again you can swipe along until you've got your your lists and you can keep adding as many lists as you want okay um so I've got one whereby um, I've got a church, church life. Okay, um, this is going to be the, the fun thing. Um, let's do. Have, why didn't you create a church life list, Caroline? Yeah. Okay, let's do that now. Uh, this is going to be the bit because I've already downloaded it. Okay, if you go to that list and add a topic, okay, um, you'll see where it says add subject. So this is how we're going to get Holy Trinity feed on here, okay? So if you go down to you find the word church life, should be, look a bit like that. Okay. Uh, yep, found it. Great, if you click on that, it should now say there's a there's a section that says church life feeds. If you move down to UK churches, yes. okay. Now on that, these are all the United Kingdom churches that are signed up for prayer, mate. Okay, they're all in alphabetical order. So if you keep swiping until you come to Holy Trinity and St Saviors, and you will see us, you'll see our logo. Is just there with Holy Trinity and St. Yes. Saviour's. I can it. see it. It's the first Holy Trinity on my list. So that's yeah, brilliant. That's always the case. Um, okay, so if you just tap that, uh -huh. okay, 
you should now have uh, three actions under it. Does that make sense? You've kind of yep. you got to that page now. Yes, I have. On mine, it says view related content, go to subject. You should say subscribe to this feed. OK, if you click subscribe to this feed, what will happen is that Holy Trinity and St. Saviour's will be now added to your church life list. OK, um, my one is because I've already signed up for it. It says unsubscribe from this feed so I can unsubscribe whenever I want to. So it's the same procedure for coming to it and removing from it. Um, oh, quite I can't quite can see. You see? There, 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 you there you go. go. So, so it's yeah, now, it. yeah, so it's now appeared in your church life feed. OK. Which is quite nice, really. Um, now, you probably wonder. So if we click on that, Holy Trinity and St. Saviour's. On it, it should now say this feed does not have any current whatever. OK, that's because I haven't put any on there. OK, from Ash Wednesday through to the end of Lent, there will be a daily prayer feed coming in on that. So every day will be a new thing to pray for, for Holy Trinity, for things around the world, for us as a church family, just to help us focus. OK, now but once I've got to this stage, I won't need to do anything else. That will automatically appear on my feed. Uh, well, yes and no. Um, if you go to, if you're in that section there, okay, press the little cog thing, which is the settings, okay, so you can do, you can unsubscribe from Holy Trinity straight away there, but if you go to subject settings, okay, and you'll see lots of different things to, to work through on, okay, so an example would be, let's go to, I've got mine on priority normal, scheduling mode default, schedule automatic, auto archive, never. So it doesn't archive stuff unless I tell it to. Now, the next section, uh, so it, that basically just gives you a little bit more control and you just have to fiddle around with it. But what should happen is that this feed will automatically appear in your prayer lists and you can click on that and find a regular prayer update. OK. Um, what you need to do. Is if you go back to your list setting where it says church life. OK, so you're back to that setting there. Press the cog up in the top right hand corner. Click list settings. OK, now you can allocate a photo to that that list, but you see where it says always pray for this list okay i suggest you move your slider to all the way to the right where it says all can you see that so you can it's divided into seven days a week so you can either pray you can either go one two three whatever but i would i would move it to that so can you see always pray for the list i've turned it on and I've moved the slider all the way across to where it says all. So what that means is you will always be highlighting something from that list to pray for. So that feed will always come through to what is endly your daily prayer list. And I'll explain that a little bit in the end. Um, so that's lists. List is really quite simple. And you can add as many lists as you want to. So you can just keep adding lists and praying around. OK. Now, one of my lists is OK, is staff team. OK, and that's because I formed a group. OK, so this enables not just me to add stuff in, but, you know, for example, so Caroline's on that on this particular group staff team and she can add something in and it will appear onto my list. So this is where I'm we're all sharing information with one another. OK, so the best way to form a group. If you so look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen is a little praying hands thing. Click on that and that will take you all the way back to the three buttons right at the very beginning. OK, got that? Yeah. Wonderful. Groups um, is something, as I just said, is whereby you can form a group with a small number of people and you can share prayer requests across. So I update something it will automatically appear on Caroline's 
group as well. So she will see what I've typed in. So that's where it becomes slightly more public, but you're stating who you want in your group. OK, so and what we're trying to encourage is rather than forming a group of 15 people, because the, the app doesn't allow you to do that, it says up to about five. I suggest go for three or four. OK, so that you can be more specific and focused in praying for people. So um, go from there. Now, what it does is it takes somebody to start the group. OK, so actually form the group and to become the admin of that group. OK, so. I'm the admin of the staff team group because um, I did all the inviting into it. But let's just say, Caroline, you're going to form a group for uh, some of your besties. OK. All right. So if you click on the circle that says groups. It now shows you um, if you've already formed a group. So it, it comes up with my groups like that. So I can see my staff, the staff team one. And it yeah, says so part of Holy Trinity and St. Saviors. Yeah. OK. So. Um, that's because I've allocated to Holy Trinity and Saviors because we've already paid to allow to form groups. If you don't allocate yourself to Holy Trinity, you will then have to join as a patron. So we're enabling freebies here. So you want to start another group. So click uh, create a group. OK. Um, now, which church is your group part of? You do need to put Holy Trinity and St. Saviors in there. Um, type a in yeah, I've literally just typed in HOL and I can see it on the list yes. very quickly and easily. Yeah, so it comes up and you, yeah, you'll have all that kind of, it will show you all the things. So you click on Holy Trinity and St. Saviours. It will now ask you for a four digit group creation code. Um, I've already given Caroline the group creation code. If you are starting up a group, I would like you to just message me and I will pass the code on to you is that we only have a selected number of groups that we can do, okay? So in a way, this is encouraging you to have a conversation before who's gonna be in your group and get somebody to start it up because once we go over that allocated number of groups, I can't create any more groups. So we don't want people being in like six or seven different groups, try and stick to one group and then you will be able to pray quite effectively for those people, okay? Um, you can have up to five people. So if suddenly, um, let's say you've created a group of four people and then there's somebody going, but I don't know anybody, um, they can join your group. So you just have to ask them to click the button, join a group instead of create a group. And we'll come to that in a minute and I'm sure we'll find out how to do that. I've never done it, hence why I'm intermediate level. Okay, so once you've typed in the code, Caroline. Okay, now I haven't typed in the code because I'm not creating another group because I don't want to. Um, what does it say on the screen? I've typed in the uh, code and then it goes to a page that says, what's your group called? OK, so you can name your group whatever you want to call it. So my besties prayer group or something. I don't know. Um, then, um, then it says who's in your group. And the first line, it says you, Caroline Bowen. Okay. And then it gives me a list of uh, five other spaces to so add can, people. So what you can do is you can now add names in there so let's just make up some besties names so, well i've just put your yes i've put yeah. your name in yeah. not bestie but it's for it's for display so, it's just, so it doesn't go randomly to other people for this yeah, okay yes. so what will happen is is you've done that and you create the group yeah what's it asking you to do now uh click done uh, uh there's a blue button uh at the bottom and it's create group so it's just created another list basically within okay. my group of my lists your group thinking. has been successfully created tap the share button in the top left to start inviting members okay so top that tap that share button mm -hmm. you've done that yep yeah, and it's i've got this page Oops. Oh, I, can't, I can't see that um so what you can do is there should be a link and a qr code is yeah, it the top? The, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah. Better. so if you see that link, I think links are probably easier. So if you see the share button next to buy my link. So if you go to it, Caroline, the share button. Yeah, it'll, uh, square with the arrow. Okay. And then I get the option of. Um, what medium you want to share it by. Yeah. So, oh, look, yeah. so you can share it to me on WhatsApp, for example. Yeah. Okay. 
So why don't you share that now? So if you had a whole load of friends, you can just text them it, you could email it, email, whichever. whatever way you want to do it. Right, I've now got, Caroline sent me a notification on my WhatsApp, I've just received that. So I'm gonna tap my link, okay? Uh, right, so you, you've gone, was the group test group by some chance, Caroline? Fine. Um, it's now asked me, so what it's done, so if you receive that, that's what I've got. I've got the name of the group, Caroline, and this is my group. So I'm now gonna tick, this is my group. If you don't wanna be in the group, you can just press cancel and Caroline will go, oh. Okay. Mortally offended. You don't want it, mortally offended. So I'm clicking, this is my group. Um, and then, so that's what I've got coming up on my screen. Okay, I'm gonna tap requests to join test, okay? Now it says it's now waiting for approval. And now, I've got a prompt on my screen, approve yeah. new member, Neil would like to join your group. So if you approve that, yeah, it will then say something like, you've now got to allocate it to a name in the group. Oh, or approve new member, approve it, and yes, assign, I'm gonna assign Neil to Neil's name. Correct, so you Never. have to sign, sign the right person to the right name. So if you sign that now, yeah. right. and then what should happen is... You should now be able to see it. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to, where's my groups? Groups, there we go. So I've now gone to the, I went back to the, I went back to the home button, I pressed groups and now you can see i've got i'm now a member of the test group okay um i can now start adding oh you've added julie as well well just because you felt like it brilliant okay so i can now type in a prayer request uh help i'm just a test okay done Oh, I've so, seen it live. Brilliant. So, so mine's yeah. come up there. I've literally just typed that in and it just appeared on your screen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. the wonders of technology. Wonders of technology. You can change uh, all the kind of settings in that group if you want to. So you can change that, Caroline, if you want to. I can change it. Um, I can add to, so say Caroline. So I just clicked on Caroline in the test group. Okay. And I can type into her saying, praying your boss gets better okay done uh, prayer, mate. Uh, and then <laughs> easy <laughs> and then obviously that's now appeared under me praying for it. it doesn't actually say it's me it just says i'm praying for her and i presume that's appeared on your test group there we go you see so everyone's a winner really um so that that's it that's how you join a group okay now, everybody's thinking, well, that's great. Why have I formed all these lists and groups? Well, one, you can access it and go into the groups. Oh, I'm gonna spend some time praying. I'm gonna find the lists and pray for different things. Or if you go back to the swipe, the home button, you see the swipe left. Okay, we swipe left to pray. It comes up with my prayer session. Now on that, it will automatically select from all the lists that you've created different topics. So an example would be from the staff team, it's selected a member of the staff team for me to pray for, okay? You'll see there's a plus and minus thing at the top of the screen. So you can change it from, it can basically work from either four items to seven items, okay? Or eight items, I've got nine items. I can add as many items as oh. I want to. Um, I, yeah, so I've got seven items and I can change it. I can keep adding, I've got up to 15 items. So you can select a lot of items to pray for if you so wish. Um, what you then do is you then just keep swiping left to start, uh, to pray for. So my first thing I can pray for is I've signed up to prayer for the nation by the church of England. And it's telling me Tuesday, elderly isolated and vulnerable and it gives me some tips to pray for um talks about the staff team um so it's actually selected me to pray for it's selected my move left again selected another member of the team um 
I've in my staff team, I've selected to pray for everybody every day. I can change that, you know, so I can pray for just one or two people. Uh, so one of my lists is my family. So it's asked me to pray for my family. There's particular people in there. And basically then comes to the end of the prayer list. So you can tailor your prayer sessions as you want. So you can add as much or as little as you want to. The trick is, is to go into the lists, go into the settings and select how often you want to pray for each list so you get a bit of variety. But it does mean you can have, um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It does mean you can, yeah, you can create your own prayer session basically. Um, <coughs> how you, you prefer to do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can receive notifications okay so you can let's just see starting right okay so um, so the, the the notifications really only works with groups okay um So I would go to, so I've gone to my staff team group, which I created as a separate list. If I went to the cog in the top right-hand corner. It gives me options whether to leave this group, close the group or list settings. I go to list settings and at the bottom, there is a whole load of selection on notifications. So that basically means I can actually be updated with a notification banner saying so-and-so has added something to the prayer list. So if you've got a group and you want to be to keep updated with your list, then it can do that. If you don't want to receive notifications and just pray for them during your prayer time, then just turn them off. Okay, that makes sense. Um, let's just talk about the add button on the home screen. It's quite simple. This is where you can just play around. Um, so if you just add, you can then start going through a whole load of topics and whatever that you want to, to look at. Um, so I've put, let's just say the persecuted church, you click on that. And then there's a whole load of organizations that have signed up for that. If you click on Open Doors UK Daily, you can then subscribe to that feed and that will regularly daily feed into your prayer list. And it comes out, if you choose subscribe, it, uh, it gives you an option of where you want to put it. Yeah. It makes some suggestions. Okay. Or you can select your own. Yeah. So, yeah. So, well, you know, let's just choose subscribe. Let's, uh, let's choose a different one. Release international. Subscribe to this feed. It suggests you to put it to world mission, that's fine. Or you could select a list that you've already pre-created and it will go into that list and then it will select a prayer thing from that list. So that's you're using that to feed into your prayer life, your daily prayer feed. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's, pr that's probably everything that we need to know to start with. Um, obviously, if there's any problems, if people find a problem, do message me. Um, there is stuff on YouTube. So if you type in, you go to YouTube, type in prayer mate, there are recorded kind of walkthroughs, um, probably a bit shorter, but this hopefully will get you going on prayer mate straight away. All right. Can I change my title now to prayer mate intermediate level as well now, do you think? Uh, no, you've got to be on it for at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You'll be more expert before I will be. I know what it's like, Caroline. Yeah. feel free to ask any questions or if you want links to the app or anything to make things easier yeah and we're very happy to help aren't we yeah of course we are brilliant okay wonderful thanks everyone and i'm just going to stop recording bye